Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a cone head zonker. The book I have in advice is a 5263. This is three extra long, two extra heavy streamer hook. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I have a medium size cone on there, and that's brass. I'm going to start out, I'm going to add some weight to it besides, and putting that lead on there, we're going to push it up inside there, and it should stop this from flopping around. I'm going to use 25 thousandths. May I put about 10 wraps on there. Break them off, then push that up inside there. And you can see now it's stopped it from flopping around adds a little bit more weight I'm going to start out with some red thread I'm going to wrap it in back of the lead wraps and push that into the cone and secure those lead wraps I'm going to bring this thread back to the rear and this fly you can tie this fly on a larger hook for bass or you can tie it for pike or muskies. We're going to take our zonker strip to start with. I'm going to use an, uh, a tan one here. And you could use any color combination you want. And I separated the hair at about a half inch of hard hide. And then we got another inch hanging off the back. But at that half inch, it's going to prevent it from uh, getting wrapped around the hook point. I'm going to take my, wet my fingers a little bit and get that in control. Go ahead and wet my fingers on the top side. Then I'm going to tie this in. I want to make sure that sits right on top. You can see how that hair on the top side doesn't quite uh, conform for you. I'm going to put a couple more wraps on there, and then I'm going to trim it. Now that's going to hold there. Now I'm going to stretch that out, and I'm going to cut that off just about at the lead wraps there. Because we're going to use a craft fur head on here, and we need some room for that craft fur for us to wind it. So that's that. I'm going to pull this to the rear. Put some wraps in front of it, kind of hold it down. You could even take the thread and go around the whole thing, kind of tighten that up. I'm going to move my thread up forward. I'm going to come up just behind the lead wraps. Now we need uh, something, a color for the shank of the hook because you're going to see that from underneath. So I have gold and silver tinsel. And I'm going to wrap it so I can see the gold when I'm done. So I'm going to tie it in so I can see the silver. Tie it in at the top. And I'm going to wrap that to the rear and then back. And you want to wrap this tight. And you're overlapping. I have a pretty long piece here. And you're overwrapping one half or one quarter to one half the width of the tinsel. Using the red thread just puts a little red spot on the back. You can use regular or whatever color thread you'd like, black, white if you want, whatever color. We're going to pull that, wrap that back forward, and we'll get a nice, secure, tight, gold shank there. And I'm pulling that pretty tight still, and I'm going to hold that tight while I wrap it in. Actually moving the 
hook shank there a little bit. Get a couple of good wraps in there. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Got a little bit of a tag there. Now I'm going to fold that over and tie that in there. Don't worry about the fact that you can see the hide there a little bit. I'm going to tie that in there. I'm going to tie that down and secure that pretty well. Wrap that hide in there pretty good. Now you see I got a nice space there. Make sure that's on top. There we go. That's good. You can see I got a nice space there for the craft fur. We can take a little bit of head cement now and put it on there. Now I'm going to take my dubbing whorl and I'm going to make a dubbing loop about four or five inches. I'm going to take my craft fur and I'm going to uh, take this out. You can use your clip if you want. And I got this in my clip. You can see how white it is. I kind of squeezed it together to get it inside. You can see inside there. Now I'm going to, I'm going to actually squeeze the clip together. And I'm going to take my dubbing brush and I'm going to pull this, this small stuff out. I'm going to have to lay it on my desk. Just be careful. You only want to get the small stuff and not the long fibers. And here's the dubbing brush when I'm done. But this this isn't garbage. You take this off, and this is good dubbing right here. You can mix that with some rabbit fur or something else. You got yourself a nice big pile of dubbing there. I'm going to take that hair, that craft fur, and I'm going to put it in the dubbing loop. And now it's all brought together. I'm going to spread that out. I have that spread out there pretty far. And you want to keep uh, short, short sides on the one side. You can move everything out of my way and give that a spin. And you can see after you give it a spin, it kind of all bunches up together. So you take your dubbing brush once again, or your comb, and just comb that back out. You get a nice, big, hairy dubbing brush. Now before we wrap this, we can bring everything to the one side. And you'll have to continue to bring it to the one side towards the rear as you go. Because it's not going to cooperate a real lot. You can see it just went to the front for me. Just keep pulling it to the rear. And we're going to wrap that right up to the cone. Don't worry if it gets tangled on itself in here. Because you can just comb that back out after you're finished. Keep that all going towards the rear. After a couple of these you'll know how just how much of a spin you give your dubbing brush. I'm going to use that all up right tight into that comb. Bring it up there. Now I'm going to tie that off. couple of tight wraps on there. 
and trim that off. I'm going to put a few more wraps in there. Then take my whip finish. And I'm going to put some head cement on my whip finish before I put it in. And pull that in. I'm going to go ahead and trim that thread. Take our dubbing brush or your comb once again, and now you can comb that out. And here we have a cone head craft fur zonker strip. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.